What's up, Men 17 fans? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to today's video. Uh, guys, before we get started today, I want to give you one uh, one thing that's really helped me. Uh, I find that, number one, uh, this is something that's important. The best answers come from the best questions. And so the only way that we're really going to be able to uh, do anything uh, or learn anything from anything that I post or any of the content that I put together is if we have dialogue, if we have questions. So uh, what I want to encourage you to do is, as this video goes on, is as you co questions come to you, I want you to comment in the comment section and ask those questions. That way I can help you with specifically what you're looking for. Because if you don't have questions, then I'm just kind of talking and I'm in essence really kind of just talking to myself. So what I would really appreciate is just guys consider uh, hitting those comments up, trying to get those questions and get that dialogue going. Cause I think that's, what's really going to help us uh, and, and help everyone uh, going forward with their, with their offense, with their defense, whatever it may be. So, uh, just just kind of a, a quick word of encouragement now secondly what we're doing today we're just playing a game uh, and and just trying to kind of share some things as they come up uh, th this is an interesting offense I haven't seen this uh, split yet um, so we're going to see what we what we face here this is a little bit different but um, what I want to share with you real quick though something I've been doing and I think it's actually worked really well I kind of started doing it at the beginning of the year and then I kind of went away from it and that is um, having very fine new, very minute amount of play calls. Um, and also what you want to do uh, is set people up and then, and then tear them down. Um, so what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get him to kind of really become comfortable seeing that I'm going to run cover two, I'm going to run cover two, I'm going to run cover two. And then at specific timed, you know, opportunistic moments, we're going to change it and we're going to go into this Mike will cross or the cover two man or whatever that may be. So um, hopefully you kind of understand where I'm, where I'm coming from. Um, and what the reason we're going to go cover two is, is a couple. So what most people do um, in Madden, the cover two is able to really limit the big plays. In my opinion, now there's certain routes and certain things that they can do. Um, that's going to make it a little harder. In situations like this, obvious passing situations, I've been running this uh, cover two man um, with a couple of unique little hot routes to take away those. Well, they're supposed to take away those curl flats. I think he went play action. We didn't we didn't get our hot routes out, so that's okay. But I'm trying it out. Um, we'll see to, to kind of stay predominantly in a two in a two man cover two for like the first drive, and then. Um, Man, that's so frustrating. The screens are so finicky this year. I think I think people should run more screens because that I'm like standing right in the right in the avenue to stop it, and he just he's just wide open. There we go. Nice D, nice D. Um, but yeah, so the reason I'm, why am I doing that? Well, again. You got to think of Madden a little bit differently than I think most people think about it, because most people only think about their side of the coin. I think Madden is two 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 sides. Um, there's the psychology of the of yourself, and then there's also the psychology of the player uh, that you're facing, so the opponent. And I think most of the time we just kind of think about our side, and so we try to mix and max our play calls to show how smart we are, to show how much we know or whatever it may be, whatever your reason is um, for doing it. In my opinion, it's not effective um, for multiple reasons. The biggest reason I think though, um, is just is just the fact that they then you're just kind of mixing and matching. There's really no flow. You can't really control anything because you're just kind of randomizing your play calls um, really a lot of times for no reason. If you watch the best players of this game, what you'll find is they really have a finite, really, really have a finite playbook, really, really subtle um, problem ran, I think, two plays the entire Madden Challenge. And I think, uh, without a doubt, he had the by far the best defense. And it wasn't because his play was so cool. It was just because he stuck with his system. Um, again, and I think that's just so important um, because at the end of the day, if you hold your opponent, I really believe this. If you hold your opponent to field goals, you will be you will be good. I don't know what this is. It's gonna be some crazy blitz, but 
if your opponent is able to score a touchdown. Wow. That is unreal. All right. So this guy's going to be a clown. But if you hold your opponent to field goals, uh, you'll be fine. If you don't, if you can't do that, if you can't hold your opponent to field goals, you're in trouble. Because And that's, a, that, that's just the bottom line. There's really no other way around it, in my opinion. Like, I just don't see any other way possible for for any – like, you just – that's what you got to do. You got to hold your opponent to field goals. Because when you hold them to field goals, what happens – when you're able to hold your opponent to field goals, something really important happens. Um, they then become um, limited because two field goals equals one touchdown. Okay, so you're playing a two to one ratio. It's just math, right? But I think also it deflates them a little bit um, because, again, it's hard to score in the red zone this year. And I think we need to take advantage of it as a defense. Uh, if you're playing defense, I would force, you know, I would want the biggest. That's why Tampa, too, right? Because force them to drive up the field. And you number one you force them to drive up the field number two what i think you do is you take away the big play force them to go underneath and if they're willing to go underneath that's fine like that's i'm willing to go underneath but there are times i know myself enough to know when i'm playing offense that there's times that i want to force it to the middle to the deep middle or to the deep whatever and and i don't always go through my progressions well and it normally results in turnovers, missed opportunities, that kind of stuff. So, um, in my opinion, that's the best way to play defense. I don't find any other way. You can try to force the hand, but in my opinion, um, that only works sometimes. Does not is not consistent. And I do force the hand at times. I mean, I have blitzes. I have access to all the blitzes that everybody else runs. Like, And so every now and then in certain situations, I will force the hand. Um, But, you know, it, it, again, if I, if I can not blitz, I'm actually happy because, in my opinion, blitzing leaves you very vulnerable in certain um, – with the deep plays, with the, the, the big play. And so what I want to do is I want to limit big plays. I want to force you to drive up the field. And in very, very strategic situations, maybe a third and two or – you know, a third and three, I might dial up the pressure a little bit because I've, and, but it also comes again from establishing that you're not going to get big plays. And if I can establish that over and over again, you can kind of see what I'm kind of getting at, I think. So, but I'm trying it out. Um, we'll see how it goes today. This is probably the first time that I've really tried to kind of whittle it back a little bit. I've been doing a bunch of complicated things from the fourth. Week. Um, I kind of expanded into some different concepts, different coverage techniques, and it works, but it's just, it doesn't, it's, it's again, it's, you got to start with your why. Like, why would I call cover three uh, blitz versus cover three normal versus cover one? Like, at the end of the day, we really don't know, okay? Um, a lot of times, it's because we want to stop a specific route. And I don't, I really strongly encourage you to not play like that. Because in my opinion, if you try to stop a specific play, um, it doesn't work well. It really doesn't. Because then you're letting them dictate um the control you're letting them control what's going on what's happening and i don't want to do that i want to take away an area of the field okay and i want to force them to make tough throws make tough catches like that and then eventually you know we'll get out of that eventually we won't be in tampa too but it's only after i've established this is the coverage we're going to face we're going to play over top we're not letting anything big happen to us um again and there are some loopholes in cover too, and I, don't get me wrong, but the, the then we'll switch up and go to something else that takes away the loopholes. It's all about field coverage and leverage, leverage in my opinion. Um, and what I mean by that is just in Tampa too, you can't throw corner routes, but you can throw flat routes, okay? So if you're going to have a counter play, you need to have something that takes away the flat routes instead of the corner routes. I don't know if that really, I mean, to me it makes so much sense, um, but that's just kind of the way that... Um, I do things so I don't know that's it works for me um, but that's if you guys have questions let me know that's why I really would like more you guys to ask more questions because 
I can give you some advice and um, of things that I I can kind of explain to you why I do it the way I do, but I don't know exactly where you guys are kind of struggling. I just kind of know for me, like this is things that I've been going up against. These are things that I've been facing. Nice route. So there he goes to that route, which is interesting. Uh, but that's okay because again, another thing that's important, I think, if, if you guys pay if you guys are paying attention, uh, is situations. So that's essential. I mean, if you think think about it. We're in a really interesting spot here with the game. He can't. He cannot. If if we give up a touchdown, we're okay. Okay, or not a touchdown. If we give up a field goal, we're okay. If we give up a touchdown, that's not okay. Um, so because we get a, if we give up a field goal, um, we're doing just fine. just gave up a touchdown gosh dang it stupid play action I did <sighs> dang it. I was trying to do a little too much there dang it so stupid of me see right there see the difference right there we have him in a really good situation um, got lucky that he missed the kick but we have him in a really bad situation like he's gonna go into halftime down six to seven which is a big deal because that means that when I come out, I can go up by two scores if I get my two-point conversion. Like, it's a big deal to be down six to seven. And um, and then, you know, next thing you know, we make a cover, we botch a coverage, we don't pass commit. He runs that stupid play extra pass that he's ran all game and throws a lob up to the tight end. And for whatever reason, my safety that was in a hook zone standing right there was not there because it's probably the play action. So again, you see the, the subtle things because now he's winning. You see the possession, just a subtle little bitty things um, that really do make a big difference. I think if, if we execute right there, uh, I think we're in the driver's seat a lot more than we are right now. Seven points is so much more than three, um, even though it's only four more points. I'm telling you, it really is. It's such a such a big deal to hold your opponent to field goals. Guy's gonna run this stupid goal line blitz. I don't know what he's doing. <sighs> Got bailed out there though. A little uh, probably wasn't the best timing, but we had to get rid of it because of the blitz. Now, see the cool part about the blitz, which you guys and then, I, again, I don't. I do blitz. Like if you watch, I blitz. I blitz every now and then. I really pick them and choose my spots wisely because the cool part about the blitz is what you what it does is it makes your opponent throw the ball before they want to, right? Um, but once you, but again, if you blitz and blitz and blitz and blitz and blitz and blitz and you never call the coverage, then I'm gonna, it's never gonna matter because your coverage isn't gonna be there. But if you blitz and then you're in coverage and you mix and match those two, those two little subtle things, I think it makes a, a big time difference. I really do. Um, because what happens is you start to really kind of feel pressure even though pressure's not there. And that's when things get real. That's when things get really complicated. I was going to say, if he caught that ball, wouldn't be the first time Jared Cook caught a crazy catch against the Cowboys, I guess. What would you guys learn from uh, Super Bowl, the Super Bowl this season? I think that's something else interesting to talk about. Um... The, the Super Bowl was really interesting because I think for the first time ever we saw, well, obviously the first time ever we saw the greatest comeback, but not even just that. Just the way the Patriots just kind of kept, kept at it, 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 kept at it. And then next thing you know, they're right there at the end of the game. Uh, a couple of mistakes by the Falcons and... Uh, a couple two point conversions, you know. I mean, it, it, it can change the dynamic of a game. You can pull out. I can't, let's be honest, Patriots shut down and won that game. Atlanta outplayed them in the first half. I mean, and I think honestly, they probably outplayed them in the first three quarters. But New England kept, kept, kept at it, kept at it, kept at it. And then next thing you know, you know, they're Super Bowl champs. So definitely a, definitely a cool Super Bowl. Probably one of my favorite Super Bowls ever. Uh, to get to be a part of, uh, to get to watch. So, got coverage. There we go. 
So right there, we went to a little blitz, um, a kind of a passive pressure. What I, It didn't work the way I wanted it to, but what I was hoping it was going to do was it was going to force him out of the pocket, or when he starts scrambling like that, I was trying to get a sack. But it didn't happen for me. This guy's interesting. He, his defense is really unique. I've never seen someone with this kind of con like this kind of pressure uh, defense. I pound, man. I pound the short game. I think people are really okay with getting hit short until they start getting hit with it over and over again. Um, if you give me the short game, I'm taking it. Like, and again, I think it's just from. It's from what I've learned, man. Like I, I just I've done the other side. Like I've done the whole I'm gonna throw it deep in your face no matter what you call, and it doesn't work. Like you have to take what the defense gives you in that regard. That's why I think defense is my favorite part because you really do control the game. Whereas offense, you have to take what the defense gives you, otherwise you're gonna throw interceptions. Derrick Henry being a big truck. Getting in for a touchdown, dancing a little bit. Looks like this guy's already out of here. But I think, guys, I really do. I, I think I think the recap, you know, you guys heard, heard all of what I had to say. But, again, if you don't ask questions, if you don't engage in the comments, in my opinion, you're not going to learn anything. Like, the, the best way to learn is to ask questions uh, because it, it's personalized. It's what do you want to know. Don't ask questions to impress me. Just ask what you want to know. Uh, and I'll share it with you guys. I'll do my best. Uh, but again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and just do me a favor. Just ask questions. Ask what you want. What kind of videos do you want to see? What kind of video, What kind of problems are you running into? Those those are questions that, that only you can ask. Uh, and hopefully I can have something that will be of use to you guys. So just want to help you guys. Just want to better serve you guys. So uh, just let me know. What